the future of all living things on our planet and our future prosperity depends on the resilience of nature declines in nature compromise the security of our societies and increase the risk to business and investors including our ability to mitigate and adapt to climate change nevertheless businesses today continue to see nature as an unlimited and free provider of critical inputs into their operations and value chains from the flow of fresh water to the pollination services of bees and the flood mitigation services of mangroves future cash flow depends on the resilience of the future flow of these ecosystem services from nature with six of the nine planetary boundaries already breached it is increasingly clear that nature risk beyond climate change is a financial risk business as usual is no longer a viable option and nature must no longer be seen as a corporate social responsibility issue but a strategic risk management one at cop 15 of the convention on biological diversity in december 2022 196 countries agreed to the coming montreal global biodiversity framework a bold and ambitious set of practical commitments to halt and reverse nature loss by 2030 hi my name is dr shruti sharma and today i'm going to talk on tnft the task force on nature related financial disclosures launched in 2021 the task force on nature related financial disclosures tnft is a global market led science based and government supported initiative with the mission to develop and deliver a risk management and disclosure framework for organizations to report and act on evolving nature related issues while building on the tcfd structure the tnft goes beyond the tcfd in incorporating nature related issues across the realms of nature which is ocean fresh water land and atmosphere and drivers of nature change beyond climate change as identified by ipbes this provides a comprehensive approach to environmental corporate reporting aligned to both the paris agreement and the global biodiversity framework like the tcfd and iissb the tnfd enables the disclosure of decision useful material information from companies to investors and other capital providers which are the primary users of sustainability reporting to enhance the resilience of organization to climate and nature related risk like gri and the esrs in the european union the tnfd also enables the disclosure of decision useful impact related information The TNFD design, defines natural capital as the stock of renewable and non-renewable natural resources such as plants, animals, air, water, soil and minerals that combine to yield a flow of benefits to people. Natural capital consists of stocks of environmental assets, naturally occurring living and non-living components of the earth such as forests, wetlands, coral reefs and agriculture areas. ecosystems assets are a subset of environmental assets that relate to diverse ecosystem an ecosystem is a dynamic complex of plant animal and microorganisms community and even the non living environment that interacts as a functional unit ecosystems are organized into biomes which can be thought of in simple terms as a type of ecosystem they are global scale zones generally defined by the type of plant life that they support in response to average rainfall and temperature pattern i mean if you look at examples are tundra coral reefs and savannas now tnfd has worked with knowledge partners and providers of relevant existing frameworks to develop an integrated approach for the assessment of nature related issues now it is designed for use by organization of all sizes across all sectors and geographies now this integrated assessment approach is called the leap approach or 
leap for short is locate evaluate assess and prepare leap is designed to be used by an internal project team in your organization and involves four phases locate your interface with nature evaluate your dependencies and impacts on nature assess your nature related risk and opportunity and to prepare to respond to and report on material nature related issues aligned with team tnfd's recommended disclosure now let's look at the first phase of leap framework the locate phase the locate phase of leap encourages organization to filter and prioritize potential nature related issues using three filters sector value chain and geography now nature related dependencies and impacts the ultimate sources of risk and opportunities are location specific location therefore matters greatly for the identification assessment and management of nature related risks and opportunities for your organization ultimately the business model and value chain activities of every corporate and financial institution trace back to a interface with nature in a particular place tracing every business and financed activity back to specific place is a very complex process gathering and disclosing data and insights on every issue in every location is not feasible or proportionate particularly for financial institutions the locate phase therefore helps organization filter and prioritize a subset of your organization interfaces with nature may include dependencies and impacts in ecologically sensitive geographic location i mean if we consider contributing to illegal deforestation or Ill illegal overfishing for example now these sensitive locations may expose the organization to elevated risk both physical risk and transition risk as mentioned in my tcfd video and opportunities that may not yet to be captured by standard risk management processes for example Areas with rapid decline in ecosystem integrity may face elevated systemic risk and areas of high biodiversity may present elevated reputational or liability risk. As a result, it is critical that organizations pay particular attention to any ecologically sensitive location where the business model or value chain may have an impact or dependency on nature and this phase of leap provides a basis for making that assessment now the second phase of leap framework is evaluate phase now evaluate phase guidance is consistent with the natural capital protocol developed by the capital coalition organization now organizations are recommended to refer to the natural capital protocol for further details an organization's nature related risk and opportunities arise from dependencies and impacts on nature as outlined analysis of dependencies and impact is therefore an essential first step to understanding the risk and opportunity the organization faces for financial institution this essential first step concerns the dependencies and impact of its portfolio companies organization depend on the reliable and cost effective provision of ecosystem services from nature that are essential to the business processes and those of the organizations in the value chain including portfolio companies for financial institutions these ecosystem services underpin the organization's cash flow and therefore its enterprise value as assessed by investors and other capital providers nature loss can undermine the delivery of these services creating risk for corporate and its capital providers organizations also have impact on nature and the provision of ecosystem services now these impacts may be positive or negative a organization's negative impact on nature can undermine the provision of ecosystem services on which the organizations and others depend and create both physical and transition risk a leap assessment team needs to identify and prioritize the nature related risks and opportunities to the organization stemming from their identified dependencies and impacts on nature now the third through the assess phase 
the leap assessment team can develop an understanding of how to integrate nature related risks and opportunities into the organization existing enterprise or portfolio risk management process to help create a list of material nature related risk and opportunity for disclosures the assess phase provides guidance on how to prioritize risk by assessing the magnitude and likelihood of these risks along with the additional criteria that are specific to nature related risks and opportunities the assessment of material risk and opportunities is based on the estimation of financial effects of these risks and opportunities on the business objective to understand which nature related risk and opportunities are material should be disclosed by organization in the materiality analysis now this can be done through the identification measurement and prioritization of nature related risks and opportunities originating from the dependencies and impacts on nature identified in the locate and evaluate phase organizations can make use of standard international risk management frameworks guidelines and tools such as enterprise risk management framework and the international organization for standardization which is iso 31000 risk management guidelines when assessing their nature related risk and opportunity the leap components adapt and build on the tcfd steps for integrating climate related risk into risk management and are consistent with the application guidance and approach to meet the material information needs of the capital providers consistent with the issd standards with a focus on risk management and how dependencies and impacts on nature create risk and opportunity for an organization's financial position and prospects now the last phase in leap which is the prepare phase Now the prepare phase guidance is consistent with the joint guidance for corporates setting science based targets for nature developed by the TNFD with the science based target network SBTN organizations are recommended to refer to SBTN's full guidance for further detail having completed the locate evaluate and assess phases of the leap approach a project team will be equipped with an assessment of material nature related issues dependencies impacts risk and opportunities for the organization the project team will need to use this assessment to inform a discussion with internal stakeholders and how the organization to respond should respond to the issues identified and what the organization will disclose in the line with the tnft recommended disclosures your organization should consider how to respond to the assessment of nature related dependencies impacts risk and opportunity identified using the leap approach this should include discussions among senior management teams across organizations on implication for the organization strategy resource deployment and capital allocation at a business unit or enterprise level The time for action is now and the TNFD recommendations are ready for adoption to address the declining productivity and resilience of nature and by extension the declining prosperity and resilience of our societies economies financial system and business models nature related issues must now be incorporated into enterprise and portfolio risk management processes failure to do so leaves business finance financial system and the whole of society with a major risk management blind spot in the face of accelerating nature loss thank you